Good afternoon from the Canadian Orthodox Monastery. And today we're recording in what we usually call the Celtic Garden uh, because we have a Celtic cross that goes out here. And uh, sitting in the Vysetka, however you call it in English. And uh, well, I wanted to uh, discuss a little bit of some of the things we've been broadcasting. I realize that the uh, broadcast on uh, evolution and other uh, questions really is upsetting to some people, but to other people it's been healing and has given them new hope in Christ because they've learned that they do not have to choose between God and truth and that uh, coming to grips with and understanding the discoveries of modern science in no way undermines faith and undermines the truth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I want to address this to some of the people who have troubles with almost everything new that comes along and uh, who uh, have difficulty shifting all ancient models of reality. The difficulty is that so many of the models of reality and so many of the ideas that were formed in medieval times became a kind of model of reality for people which were shaped into a basic religious ideology. And rather than faith, it really is ideology. And we need to encourage people to be able to come into the 21st century still having faith and hope in God and hope in salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ and the, the inspiration of the grace of the Holy Spirit. We do not need to deny modernity. We do not need to deny the realities that have been discovered in science or in medicine in order to have faith. Indeed, I think if we cannot come face to face with these things and accept gracefully what has been proved and demonstrated to be true through science and medicine in our new era, I think then that our faith is actually questionable whether or not people who cannot deal with uh, a challenge to their models of reality or to their ideologies, do they really have faith or do they simply have a rigid, formalistic, external belief system which is based not on the transformation of the heart and not on the opening up of the heart to the fullness of the grace of the Holy Spirit but rather which is based on a kind of ideology that gives them uh, a kind of artificial comfort. And that with anything that changes, their minds begin to race or become upset or their spirits become crushed because things are not as they thought they were. Does that really constitute a faith in God or does it constitute a faith in your own rigid uh, uh, inflexible, inflexible mental uh, condition. In other words, is it a worship of God or self-worship when you cannot accept the changes in knowledge and understanding and yet have your faith intact? So this is what I would like to call upon people to think about very seriously. Uh, can you really claim to have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ and in God and the grace of the Holy Spirit when you're incapable of maintaining that faith in the light of the knowledge that we've gained through modern science and modern medicine and simply through empirical experience over the last few centuries. Uh, this is something that everyone should think deeply about and should pray about because you cannot make the changes go away. You cannot make reality go away. Truth is never harmed by reality. And reality is never a contradiction to truth. Consequently, you have to look at truth and reality that have, have been discovered, have been revealed, have been found through very sound, very solid scientific procedures, and still have your faith in God, in Jesus Christ, complete, whole, and still be filled with hope and the joy of the grace of the Holy Spirit. We have to come into modernity and encounter it. But we have to encounter it in terms 
which can be comprehended and understood by those living in our age. Of course, we've passed already into post-modernity and yet not even come to grips with modernity. To come to grips with does not mean to accept everything in the moral scheme of things, and certainly not to accept the way people's lives are lived. Modernity has been an endless round of war and destruction, and it has been a crushing of the human spirit in so many ways. So by coming to grips with modernity and post-modernity, what we really want to do is to demonstrate that the Orthodox Church can fill the void, fill the vacuum, re return hope and joy to people living in this era, seeing what we've been through in the past, and seeing what we're going through at the present.